I'm gonna love this place. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to your daily dose. Today we've got something very obviously special. We're moving. Big steps here today, but I didn't actually expect to move today, believe it or not. I am moving in by myself. I'm actually at my community here right now. I'm about to pick up my keys. Then we gotta go back to my old place, which really isn't too far. We're right around the corner from Disney World and I'm excited to be in this brand new community, this huge step. I've never lived by myself ever. I mean, I couldn't afford it back in the past, so I'm very grateful that I can finally live by myself. It's a huge step, you know, I'm 29, almost 30. Nothing against Dan or Jojo. Jo Dan moved out, but I knew it was time to um, move by myself and we're here, picking up my keys. So um, today's a huge milestone, huge milestone. I'll tell you guys where I'm living, how much it costs to live in this area. We'll get into that and we'll also get into why I'm actually moving here today because I wasn't supposed to move until halfway throughout the month and there was actually um, kind of a little bit of an issue, but they kind of figured it out. We'll get to that a little bit later, but I'm happy to be picking up my keys here this morning. We're gonna go move. Got everything all packed and ready to go. Got some movers here. They're gonna be moving us. And yeah, welcome to this big step, this huge milestone. I'm really pumped. As you guys know, I was gonna be buying a house, but um, that unfortunately just wasn't in the cards. So uh, without further ado, let's go pick up these keys and, and get moving. I hope you guys are excited because I sure as heck am to show you guys my new place and and whatnot. And this is only my new place for a short term. For a short term. Kind of. More on that later. I mean, check this out. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful and peaceful. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to move. I can't wait. Today's the day, baby. Today is the day. I did get here really early too. I wasn't gonna, well, my appointment's at 10 a.m. to pick up my keys, get uh, all my belongings and situations, whatever they have to do here this morning. They said it's only gonna take 15 minutes. But then I gotta hurry up and go back because my window for my movers, if you guys didn't know there's like a window of pickup, it's between 11 and one. Good thing it's only gonna take me like 15 minutes to get back to Windermere, so. I don't know, comment down below. Where do you guys think I'm, I'm living? I mean, I'm gonna tell you guys in this video, but I want you guys to, where, where, where are we? Where do we think we are? It is an apartment complex. I didn't buy a house. Again, <laughs> more on that house situation. It was just unfortunate, but I'm happy to be finally by myself. And um, yeah, awesome. <laughs> okay, this is it. Just got the keys, but I'm back at my old place here. This is bittersweet, guys. This is actually kind of crazy like, i don't think you, i don't know i'm moving on the whole other side of town we're in windermere right now at the moment i've been living in windermere this area since 2019 and well this is technically where i want to buy a house this is just kind of like a you know like a see you later i i'm a little i'm a little emotional leaving this place like i love i love windermere i love this side of town um i'm actually moving to celebration i can't wait to show you guys this uh, new apartment, I just got my walk through, I got the keys and um, it's gonna be great, but I really do enjoy Windermere. It's so quiet, it's residential. And same with Celebration, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good change. It's gonna be a good change. <sighs> and it's really kind of cool too, because Celebration, you know, Disney, that's the community Disney started. It's just, I have to say goodbye to this place. And I've been here for three years, been living with Jojo for four. He's not here right now, we already said our goodbyes. My stuff is all packed. Wait till you see upstairs. It is a mess. Everything's been packed for about a week and a half now. We've just kind of been over at Casey's and with Alexa, but I'm really gonna miss this place. I've made so many videos here, so many videos. And it's a beautiful community, you know. On to living by myself, on to bigger and better. It's gonna be a different journey, for sure. It's, it's different. I love this place too, I really do. Fun fact too, <laughs> I only paid like $700 a month here and wait till you find out what I'm paying now. 
700 buckaroos was my was my share. I think it started out at like 600. It was crazy, but you know, as time goes up, it goes up and up and up and even more. I think if I wanted to get a one bedroom here, a two bedroom or a three, a three is over 3,000, a two is like 29. And then the single, I believe, is actually more than the place that I'm gonna be living at. I think a single here is currently right now, roughly around, I wanna say 23. It's expensive. But let's go on up there, the movers are coming here. College hunk is moving me for, I think about like $400, which is gonna be nice. All I had to do was pack and yeah. You guys know the jazz. Oh, this is really weird leaving here for the last time. I love this place. This is the first time though that I didn't have to personally move my things. So worth it. Ugh. And obviously I don't really know anybody to help me move. I'd just rather pay people to do it and get it over with, you know? Let's see if it's even locked. Oh, wow, good job. Oh, that's mine too. I think I'll just leave that with them. They can have that. Last time I'm in my place. Here we go. Welcome to a tornado. Like, literally. Whew. That's what happens when two people are moving in and one is moving out. All my stuff is packed. Ready to go. The last of my room, Jeet's already kind of moving on in. It's insane. I've made so many videos in this room. Now it's, it's all over. It's all over. Comment down below, guys, when you were here on the channel. Were you here back in 2019 or 2020? We moved in this place during COVID. Comment down below, because there's a lot of there's a lot of memories in this place, and it's you know it's bittersweet. Just excited to finally start living on my own. But there's a lot of memories in here. A lot of a lot of parties JoJo threw. <laughs> I remember when I used to work at Disney, and I would come home to like he would tell me in advance, but he would come home to like. I don't know, 15 people in here, 20 people in here. Those were the days when JoJo did all that. Not not really my mindset anymore, but it's crazy. It's insane. Thanks to everybody who sent me stuff in the past because the P.O. box is closed in this one, which I might re open up depending on what you guys want, but I'll be coming back here from time to time just to, or not time to time, like I think once I'm all settled on in to see if I missed anything because this is what happens. This is insane. I haven't been here for like a week and a half. <sighs> yep, movers are here, I think, so let's get some moving. And the moving has begun. Got three movers here, had to sign a whole bunch of stuff. Our time is limited here. Bittersweet, y'all. Bittersweet. Let's see what car they got. Our truck. There it is, College Hunks is what I is what I did. It's the first hit like on Google down here. I was like, deal. I didn't really call around. I'm sure if I called around, I would have found a better deal, but I mean, it sounded right. I was like, ah, I didn't have time because my sister was coming here. I had to do everything. It was a lot of work to move. I can't even imagine like moving a family. That'd be a lot of work and a lot of money. I think we're all packed and, and ready to go. We gotta go up there real quick. I think they're ready. And here we go. Out for the very last time. Three years. It's sad. It's sad, but you know, I like to see this new place. It's amazing. It is amazing. Three years of my life. <sighs> kind of stinks JoJo isn't here either, you know, because we've been rooming it for four years. But we got to say our goodbye or, you know, see you later. I actually believe where I'm moving to is closer to the airport, and it is definitely closer to Disney, so I'll be able to commute a little bit. A little bit faster by a couple minutes. It's not really earth shattering, shattering fast. You guys see this? Heck yeah, baby. You guys see this? I got a garage. I've never had a garage before in my life except living in Wisconsin. Obviously this added on price, I think it, I don't remember the price, but obviously garage is not free. I just felt like I, I wanted one, you know? So why not get one? So we got a garage. And um, remember how like my, I'm not supposed to be living here right now. I'm still gonna tell you guys that story. But um, 
first we gotta we gotta move on in. But here's my garage. Like it's really nice. This is the first time I'm actually seeing it. Ceilings are really high and they've got a light there too? What? Cool. Probably gonna store a lot of stuff here. That's nice that I have storage and I think it actually has, yeah. It's got a power outlet. I mean, I figured I was gonna buy a house, you know? Almost got it, but then lost it. Let's, let's act like we're kind of living in a house. So that's what I theoretically wanted to do. And that door actually leads to like the hallway. You know, it's like an, an attached garage to the apartment, which is super nice. But yeah, super pumped. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Extra storage, love that. And it's kind of perfect too, because I believe most Floridians use their garage as storage as well. So that's why I also wanted it, because I didn't want extra stuff cluttered around in my apartment, because it's gonna be clean, because it's only me living there. The change that I wanted for the long time, so move in day. Here we go. Hmm. But we're about to do the not so fun part. And that's moving everything in. And then probably back down here because I don't know what I'm all putting in here yet. Cool, I got a garage. <laughs> Look at that. Ceilings are massive. That's rad. Okay. And then, gotta make sure that's locked. Perfect. And we're gonna go all the way up. I'm on the third floor. Always gotta live in the third floor. I never wanna live below anybody because it's so loud. Is this the stairs? I've got no idea. Like, look at the ceilings. I don't have these ceilings, unfortunately, because these are the first floor units. Crazy. Third floor. Hmm. This is an exciting day. It really is. It really is. I think this one's mine. Also, look at how I get in. It's a key. Well, it's a get in with typing my code. I'm not gonna show you guys the code. Oh, time expired apparently. In we go. Home sweet home, baby. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Welcome home, Kyle. Thanks. Now compared to my last home, it's obviously smaller. I've only got a one bedroom, but in my opinion, it's a lot nicer. It's a brand new community. Can you guys tell like how nice it is already just by looking at my kitchen? This thing is amazing. It's gonna look like crap in a little bit here because of the fact that they're gonna be moving everything in. So I think I'm gonna do a little mini tour here right now. All right, well, here we go, guys. Welcome to my new home. Obviously that is the front door. Got a nice little hanging rack here where I can hang whatever I want. Shoes can go up there too, so I, I left my shoe rack with Jojo, Jeet, and Zane. Also gonna put some shoes down here. I've never had anything like that, and I never would've thought I would be living in what I think is a more luxury apartment than my past, because where I just lived was super nice. Got a smart thermostat here. This is new to me, I've never seen that. I can actually control it with my app. Super duper cool. And then in here is just where my trash is. I get valet trash, it's obviously a closet. And um, there's Sonos speakers throughout my whole apartment. So there's Sonos speaker control in there. To my right is gonna be my mini hallway. Hold on, I'm gonna close the door because the bathroom is super nice. I gotta save that for last. So here is technically my laundry room. Directly right to the right is the laundry and they look pretty nice too. I think they're LG, what are they? No idea what they are. Oh, the movers are here guys. We're gonna have to end right here. Sorry, gotta, gonna leave to the right. I guess this is kind of good. See, I'm not gonna complain that my place actually has an elevator, which is super nice, but I'm like a stairs person. So it's really weird that I have an elevator in a three bedroom, or sorry, three bedroom, a three floor apartment complex, but I'll take it. I'll take it, I'm just letting the movers move the elevator, so I'm kind of going up and down. I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I do when I move into a new place is set up my Wi-Fi, because obviously I need Wi-Fi, so I'm kind of been doing that while they've just been moving everything up here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun to unpack. Can't wait. Okay, the move-in is complete, and I just feel totally unwell with how much I have to do. Now the thing is, here's the thing. 
So I'm actually not supposed to be here for a whole another month. My my move out date on my last place used to was gonna be August 17th. My move in date here was gonna be August 17th. However, ooh, touch oven, gotta get used to that. <laughs> um, it was gonna be a little bit, well, it's gonna be the same time, just a little bit later. But here's the thing of what happened. My other complex where I'm supposed to be moving in has been delayed. So right now I'm technically in a temporary housing apartment or a te temporary apartment that they had available. So I, I either could have just waited a whole month, but they gave me this for a cheaper rate, but it isn't really the same. Well, it's technically a little bit the same, but the size is bigger and the bathroom is different in my other apartment complex, which I should be going hopefully into like a month and a half to two months. And I know you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, you gotta move your stuff again. I know, that's the biggest pain, but they are gonna be paying for movers for me. So that's nice. But it's also cause it's kinda like, I'm gonna be living with stuff in bags. Like I'm gonna have to go through all of this bags and just kinda see what I need right now and I'll take it down to my garage, which is super nice. So there's that. I've got my furniture coming a little bit later this week. If you guys know, you know, something big is coming. But um, yeah, I'm hopefully only here for about a month and a half, but I got a better view right now. It's just kind of stinks, but I'm happy to be here on my own, which is why I said, yes, I want to move in now. And here we are. So I don't think it's the end of the world that I have to wait, you know? It's nice that they offered to pay for movers. A lot of you guys might see it just like, oh, you know, you got to move twice. Like, I understand. But at least I don't have to move myself again. But anyways, let's take a look at the place finally. Obviously keep in mind that it's currently under construction, meaning I'm moving into my place. But here's a look at my gorgeous kitchen. Let me shut this door. The nice thing is, look at that. Slow closing doors. Unbelievable. Now the bottom units, they have about like 20 feet, 16 feet ceilings. I do have some tall ceilings, but they're not like the ground unit. I just don't like to live underneath anybody. That's one thing I've learned from living in apartments is how loud people can be above you. So I like to live on the top floor. Here's a look at my kitchen. What do you guys think? I think it's beautiful, obviously why I have decided to move here. I've got a nice island. There's a lot of storage. Like look at that built-in storage right there, you know? I feel like I've never seen anything like that in an apartment complex. Like it's, it's gorgeous. This place is top notch. This is how I describe my style. Again, look at this slow closing. <sighs> that is everything. Everything, everything, everything. Now here's a look at the fridge. Got some more over there. I finally have a fridge with water and ice cube maker. Didn't have that at my last place. Got a filter, lots of storage. It's gonna be nice. I'm very, very excited to say the least. Now here's where a lot of cooking is gonna go down. I'm gonna try to do some more cooking. Hope you guys are gonna be interested in that. Tons of storage. What does this look like? Microwave obviously right here. It's actually at a nice level, but again, look at that. <laughs> I love the slow closing hinges. It's just such a luxury touch. This is also really cool as well. How I can put some stuff in here. Who's calling me? No idea. I gotta answer it. Give me one second. That was just the moving company, but onward with the tour, I cleared everything off so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. A better look at the granite countertops. That's what they told me, so I'm gonna go with it being granite. I really like the color and how it pops. That's gonna be my trash can. But if we go over here, this is really cool too because this is where my bar stools will go whenever I order that. And I really like the gold touches, like the gold touches on the handles. Like all this storage is so nice. Like, I, I don't know. This is what really kind of sold me as well. I've just never seen anything like that. It's a beautiful kitchen. I don't know, comment down below. What do you guys think? I'm obviously really thrilled about it. It's enough space for me again, living by myself. It's gonna be amazing. Bathrooms in there, as you guys kind of just saw a little sneak peek, but now here's a look at the living room. <laughs> this is quote unquote, a luxury apartment. I mean, I feel like a lot of places say that they're luxury, but this is one that really just kind of felt actually kind of like higher end in a way, but I don't know, most apartments look like this with these day and ages. Got Sonos in the walls, so I can kind of connect that, I think, to my TV, because I think it's smart. Um, I do have a patio behind me. I'll show you guys my view. 
Again, I'm only here for about two months or so, but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be all right. I've got enough space, and I'm just happy, you know, very happy. I already have a wall mount that is pre-installed here. This will do for me. I'm just gonna get all this junk out of here. Still have my old Xbox. What do you guys think of my my living space? The new chapter is starting. Also, as you guys can kind of see, that cutout goes all the way around. I wonder if I put anything up there, like Christmas lights or something? I don't know. Let me know if I should do anything up there, but we're gonna head on in to my room. Now, since I am on the third floor, there is carpet only in here. That's usually what they do on the second and third floor. It's a very big room. Don't mind my, my bed there. It's huge. Way bigger than my other one. I'm still deciding on putting my desk here or there because I don't really have a TV stand yet and I'm gonna need one. So I might just move that over here and then get a TV stand for my next room. So I don't know, comment down below. I do like the desk being by the window always because of the fact that it's good for recording here. I'll show you guys. Like if I flip around here, it's such good natural lighting. That's why I love having a desk by the light. It's amazing. And so is this room. It's so much room. Getting a new bed as well. See if I go over here, you can't have a desk facing this way. That's just bad. This isn't that bad either, but nothing beats this. See that? I don't know how many room, how many uh, videos I'm gonna be filming in my room, but I do also kind of need a TV stand because I gotta watch, I gotta watch Disney Plus and Netflix and stuff. So yeah, here she is. Where the bed is, that is also where my bathroom is. That is gonna be one of the main differences when we move, wait till you see my new bathroom. This one's still pretty good, but wait till you see the bathroom that I'm gonna be getting. It's, it's quite insane, so let me just move this bed real quick. Ta-da! In we go. So I still need to get a shower curtain. This is also where my um, closet is right behind you. This mirror is huge. Did not realize it being that big. Tons of storage. This is kind of like my last one. I think the main difference is just the slow closing hinges. It really does add a nice touch when they are closing hinges like that. It's kind of dark in here on camera, but it's not this dark. Toilet in here to the left is going to be my closet. It's very nice that they have pre-installed those things. There we go, sorry, I was like super zoomed in for some apparent reason. That is way better. Let me show you kind of a better look at the room because I was too zoomed in. I don't know why I did that. There, it's a better look at the room. And then into the bathroom, see? Super nice, I'm in love with this place. So here's, a, I have a tub. In my other one, it's gonna be insane. Just wait, let me turn this light on for you guys. Perfect. And then here is a better look at the closet. Boom shakalaka. If you're wondering where this goes to, it just goes to my to my kitchen. So what do you guys think? You in love with it? Is it for you? Is it not for you? Oh, I gotta talk about the price too. Hold on. Hold the phone. Now, as far as the price, may I remind you that not every place is cheap down here. Not every place. I'm pretty sure my base rent here with an all in of all my expenses, I think it's 21, 22. Could be up to 23, I actually don't know because of like all the, you know, how I've been moving around. So I think I'm in the 22, 23 ballpark. And um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. My next one though, that we're moving to, I think that one is like 18, 1900. It's pretty much the same layout. You'll see what is all different once we move. But again, we're moving twice. We are moving, we're moving twice, but I'm really excited. I got to start unpacking here real quick. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of my, my new place and we'll see what we can do with it. If you guys have any um, thoughts on how I should decorate it, let me know down below. I have all you guys' Tupperware downstairs. Well, in the Tupperware that I have um, from all you guys to be sent to my PO box, but I'm happy. Super happy. Someone else is calling me. It's my sister. 
Say hi to Alexa, everybody. Just showed her the place. She loves it. But I did forget to tell you guys or show you guys outside. Here's a look at my view. It's, it's beautiful. Now, unfortunately, it's not screened in like my last place. Whoa, it's really bright. Sorry, guys. Here's my view. It's very nice. Very peaceful. And I'm happy. Really happy. I think the next time you guys will see me turn on the cameras is when I have all this sort of kind of organized. Casey's working. If you're wondering why she's not here, she's she's at work. And I obviously have to do this by myself. And then she's going to help me on in. Yeah. Wish me luck. It's What time is it right now? It's 2.07. Let's see how long this takes me. I've already gone through a couple of these. And I guess the crappy thing about having me to relocate again is... I don't want to open up any of these. I've already gone through four of them and I'm not going to touch any of those and bring them down to my garage. Cause I don't want to hang anything cause I got to take everything down. So that kind of does stink in a way. It's not the end of the world. Like I'm happy again. Like I'm living by myself. I got some toilet paper here. That's funny. But yeah, maybe I don't have that much work because I'm not going to be really taking out anything. It's just going to be a lot of bare walls, which is okay. You know, it does kind of stink in a way, but Hey, we're by ourselves. That's what I wanted. I think something even funnier is that, like, I'm looking at this stuff and it's making me realize, like, a lot of this stuff I don't really even need to, like, live. It's weird. Like, do I have a lot of junk? Like, I have so many of these. Use them. Weird, random things. Like, I don't need any of this to survive or live off of. I guess that's a good thing. Now, there is a lot of things that we are going to be buying. Oh, this is what I need. Perfect. Like Casey and I are going to be going to Ikea. We're going to be going to Costco and getting like pots and pans. Silverware. I left that all with Jojo. He can have all the silverware. Oh, some stuff that I need. Nice. So there is stuff that I'm going to be needing to go buy, which is fine. We're going to be doing that, I think, Monday or something. Wow, I don't need like any of this. I should just leave everything packed. I've been through one, two, three, four, five, six things, six out of like 12 bags, and I don't really need anything. <laughs> it's making me feel like everything I have is useless. By the way, I'm also double checking to make sure nothing is like able to melt in the garage. Like all this is just like decoration. So I think it's gonna be okay to put in the garage that doesn't have any AC. I gotta show you guys an update here real quick. I moved practically everything that I don't need here in the garage. Heaven on earth to have that. Unbelievable. Look who has arrived. Also the Hi. nice paper towel right there. I honestly was not expecting this right now. Woo! I'm so excited. This place is absolutely beautiful. It so really is. Pretty. We're gonna go to the store right now and, and get some things. Look at this. Do you think we could do a lot of cooking episodes with this stove? I think Oh, but I think that you kind of need to buy some things to, to cook with. I already it's... told them on Monday we're going to go. Good, good, good. But isn't it nice? It is so nice. <gasps> Wait. What? This probably doesn't mean much to you, but this is nice. Look at how deep these drawers are. This is good for like pots and pans. Oh. I could totally see myself cooking here. Nice. Look, wow. this is where I, I put my beer thing here. Also, I need to wash this, but awesome. I thought this would be like a good bar area. Yeah. Trash is also hidden. That's this is, I think, recycling because my trash is here, the valet trash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the same one I have. Woo! Moving day! I also kept this out. Yeah, I had to unpack something, and that is rightfully so deserving. All everything's downstairs. We're ready to rock and roll. I don't know if I'm going to keep this carpet yet or the rug. It needs to be cleaned heavy duty because that was in our living room, and yeah. Yeah. I think you should have left it. But that's just me. <laughs> you need pots, pans, plates, utensils, living room rug, dish towels, bathroom towels, bathroom mat, bathroom trash can, kitchen rug. The list goes on and on. On and on and on. I think we're gonna end the video here, folks. Casey came over and helped me clean. Mm -hmm. Everything looks and smells great. Still a lot more to be done, but finally we're in 
a place on our own. Hold on, I want to try something. Wait a minute. This could be a cool, like, kitchen thing. Cooking. Cooking vlogs? We'll see. Welcome to the new place. I'll give you guys an update probably in a couple days, how everything looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. We got a special one tomorrow. <gasps> All right, I think it is, right? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, yeah. just stay tuned, everyone. Staycation Sunday! <laughs> see ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.